If you want to use a standard two hook or snap tackle pike trace, then you've got to find a way of attaching that top treble. Now you can crimp it in place, but I think I've got a much better way I can show you. So I've got my trace that I've already made up here with my bottom single already on, and this is 40 pound seven strand wire. So I've twisted that. Now, if it was a different wire, I would have crimped it um, just to fix that one on. So I always put the bottom one on first. And the type of wire doesn't really affect <clears throat> how I attach the top hook. So right, I'm going to put that on. Now if you look at a hook, a treble hook, you'll see there's one point that's offset more than the other two. So what I'm going to do is put the wire through the eye so that one offset hook's down and I've gone down through the eye of the hook. And bring that up into position. And the hook here is going to be permanently fixed so you need to judge exactly where you want it to finish up. It's not going to move when you when you attach it. So get it right now and it'll be in the right place. And I normally like them about four inches apart. That works pretty well with most baits. Right, so now what I'm going to do is fold the long end of the wire, the one that hasn't got the hook attached, back through 90 degrees down the shank of the hook. I'm going to make three turns, tight turns, around the shank of the hook. I'm now going to go round one of the points and then bring the wire back up. So I've locked it with three turns. And then I'm simply going to make three more turns, nice and tight, back up the shank of the hook, put the wire back through the eye. Be careful not to, not to damage it on this bit. Pull it up and pull that tight. Pull it tight from the bottom as well. And there you go, that hook's solidly locked there. It's not going to move, can't go anywhere. Now, that's fine, you don't need to do any more, but I like to then just put one of our treble hook covers on. A little bit tricky because I've only got a small iron hole in them. There we go. And then what I'll do, I'll just slide that onto the shank of the hook. It covers all of those twists and just really neatens it up. And there you go, that's all there is to it. That's the way I fix my top treble.